Sorry, this is windy, so I'm gonna make it brief. Um, picked up a couple sea dew sparks, and this one ain't running right. So, this is how you take the top half off so you can get to it. I'm assuming it just needs plugs, so that's what we've done. Basically, all of your bolt holes that line around the whole edge, go all the way around the front, and then there will be these one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's a plastic piece here and a plastic piece there that holds it on so you can get that baby off. And then your spark looks like this, so um, helps you access everything. Uh, these are evidently our plugs, so we're gonna loosen them up, pull them out, and uh, see what they look like and slap the other ones in. Pretty simple process, so I hope it's that easy and that that is the issue. I will keep you guys posted. So as I said, there's no real reason to go way in depth on this. Um, this was plugged in right here. Unplug it to get it out of the way. Take out those three uh, screws that are in there. And then based if you can get a hold of it or not, just like any spark plug, they pull right up out of there. You have to unclip this. See if I can do it one handed here. Maybe not, one sec. All right, I'm back, got it undone. Pull this straight out of there. That's obviously what goes into your plug there. Down in your hole, you see your plug down in there. Grab yourself your spark plug socket, get down in there and unscrew it. That's that, put the new one in, put everything back together just the way you took it apart. Extremely basic and uh, hope you can try it yourself. It's pretty easy. So if you don't have to wait to get in to have someone else do it, it's uh, not a very complicated process. So I will let you guys know if this fixed it or not. So in all of about maybe three minutes or so, um, pulled all the plugs, put new plugs in it, plugged everything back in. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, before you pull the top off, um, you'll have to unclip these two, which is on like a little, a little hole right here that has a cover on it. And then up inside your steering, uh, this is your steering arm that goes back to the back. Um, it'll have to be undone. It's just a little 10 millimeter bolt that sits on there so that you have your steering back to your, um, your impeller or your prop in the back, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, the fun part really is getting the whole thing apart and off. Um, I don't recommend doing it alone, not that it's not possible, but I'm gonna go grab some help and get the top of it set back on here and start this thing up and see if it still runs the way it did. It was it was idling really rough. Um, we had these machines last year, I sold them and then actually bought them back just a little bit ago. I went out to do a test ride and this one just wasn't running good at all. Like, just like it would fall flat on its face if you gave it throttle. So. I figured we'd try plugs first and uh, see if that makes a difference. Beyond that, I'm not really sure what it could be. Even if it was bad fuel, you'd still think it would pull out of it and run better than that. But um, we'll just see. The fuel doesn't smell bad, so um, we're gonna fire it up and see if it idles out smooth and, and runs good again. So this machine only has like 50 hours on it, so I wouldn't think it'd be anything more than that. But so you guys know, if you ever have uh, that issue, a really rough idle whenever it's cold, even whenever it warmed up, it didn't, still didn't idle great and it just wouldn't take off and run the way it was supposed to at all. Um, might try it on your Sea Dew Spark or. All right, so we got the top put back on this thing. Um, got to watch this piece right here. That's what hooks up to your steering. Um, you can't really see it up in there. See how that slides back and forth? That hooks up to your steering. So you have to bolt all that back up. You got a couple of bolts right here to take apart to. Um, pull the top part of the hole off. And then, like I said, plug these two things back in. I went ahead and started it up. Bear in mind, if you've never heard one of these things started up and ran um, when they were out of the water, they sound terrible. I mean, they sound like they're a rattle trap, knocking, ticking weirdo engine that's about to blow up. But as bad as this thing was before, I just wanted to know before I took it back to the lake. So I started it, which before you'd start it and it wouldn't hardly idle. Um, but it started right up just perfect. I gave the throttle a few revs, it revved right up. So I'm thinking I fixed it. Now um, Now that I have verification that it starts and sounds better than it did, I'm gonna take it to the lake and see how it does. And hopefully that was a simple fix. Those spark plugs cost 20 bucks. I'm probably 30 to 45 minutes invested into this thing so far. Um, so 
So you know if that happens to your piece of equipment and you don't want to wait to have to get it in, um, you can change your plugs out pretty dang quick and it's a very simple and easy process. So thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll try to do some videos of these, uh, these sparks. We got a couple others that we're gonna get out on the lake here in a little bit and have some fun with them. So hope you like our later video whenever we do that and maybe we can have something else to test them against.